Hey guys, Sherry Ann Richardson from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, SherryAnnRichardson.com, and BiannualBlogathonBash.com. And we went to the train show today. Um, I didn't think we was going to get to go, but we did end up going. And um, I have a little video clip that I'm going to insert right here of something that I saw that was really kind of cute. Isn't that really cute? Um, we saw a lot of different train displays and there was a lot of items for sale. And I did look up uh, three of the train pieces that I had that were readily available. They are G scale and um, after seeing what people had for sale and the way that the displays were done, I really wonder why the one uh, my stepdad and mom had was done like it was. There were a lot of really cute, authentic looking pieces available um, that were made out of metal instead of plastic that I certainly thought were a lot nicer than the cheaper little ceramic houses and the cheap little plastic pieces that they put in their trains. Um, I also came to realize that they invested quite a bit of money in their train setup, and which I guess I should have known that, but I didn't. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, reach over here and I'm going to show you the three pieces that we had um, that were fairly easy to get a hold of. This is one of them. And um, the plastic is damaged a little bit, just probably from age and from it being packed away. But there is actually nothing wrong with the train itself. And um, this is you can see there um, a little bit. I did look all of these up on eBay because I was just kind of curious what we was looking at and what we had. Um, this one seemed to be the most valuable. It's called the Royal Blue. Um, I don't know um, what all you can tell from this. But this seemed to be the one that, like I said, had had the most value. And then I also have this piece. I don't want to take these out of the box. Um, I actually had this one out this morning just because I wanted to take a look and make sure this was actually what was in the box and that it was in good shape. And of course it is, which is what I had expected. Uh, I had looked through the lighted ceramic villages a number of years ago and separated out all the little plastic pieces that I had and put those away because I just was not ready to deal with this. I also know that I have the complete inbox uh, set of the El Emmett Kelly Jr. train upstairs. So, uh, there are transformers, and I honestly don't know what all. And after looking at things, um, I thought it might do be kind of fun to recreate a Civil War era train, which probably means getting rid of these and getting something else. But honestly, I... I think we're kind of torn on what to do if we're just going to sell this stuff and get rid of it or if we're going to try to do something with it. We did do a little bit of reading and to set a train up properly, we need a 7 foot by 11 foot area so that we have room for the 4 by 8 sheet of plywood and then of course about 3 feet on all sides to walk around. So, um, 
And actually thinking about that, I just, I only left room on two sides to walk around instead of all four. So um, about three foot on each side is what you want to leave. And I just I have so many mixed feelings about this that I just honestly don't know what we're going to do. And if you're curious to see what all of this looked like when it was set up, I will put a link to that video with this video so that you can go see. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know if all the pieces are here and I just really am not sure what we're going to do, but I, if we do set it up, I will be taking video of it that you guys can see and I imagine we'll be videoing the process step by step because I don't think it's going to be a quick setup. I think it's definitely going to take some time. Um, a lot of the pieces that I have, I don't want to reuse because like I said, I see nicer stuff today and things that were a little more antique looking and, um, it just things that I think Jeff and I would enjoy a lot more versus the stuff that I kind of inherited. So anyway, uh, please subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. Thanks for watching and have a great night.